Hey, hello everybody. I'm Pastor uh, David G. Grogan Sr. I'm the, the senior pastor at Sojourner Life Ministries in San Antonio, Texas. Now, I'm the voice of Phineas's Javelin. Good to be with y'all here again on uh, another day that truly the Lord has made. Um, before I go any further, if you like what you see and hear on my videos, I'll ask that you will subscribe to my videos. Subscribe, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and then uh, leave your comments in the comment section, please, so I can um, uh, know that you're, I'm being watched or might even be able to comment back to you. I'm not going to take too much time today uh, getting started because I have some reading that I need to do um, as I spend time with y'all. Um, as you can see on the uh, screen here, there's the, uh, um, this whole situation, y'all, with our United States military. You know, I served in the military for seven years and eight months, then didn't retire. I was in the Air Force as a jet engine mechanic. Um, some of you that have followed me have heard me speak of that before. My father was a 31-year um, uh, chief master sergeant in the Air Force. My oldest brother was a 20-year retired Air Force also. Had two younger brothers, uh, one Army and the other one Air Force that they uh, themselves did not retire, but they served. So all the men in my family um, have served in the military. And um, I have never in my uh, life, y'all, seen the military in the state of disrepair that it's in. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and read um, some of these articles that I have. Because I actually have three articles. They all came out today. I just kind of brought them all together because they all are dealing with the very same subject. So I'm going to read um, this first article and, and probably some of the uh, other one or two, uh, however I'm moved to do, and then I will have my uh, uh, comments as far as what the scripture says about these things. Y'all, I'm telling you something, this nation and its leadership and its uh, mor morals when it comes down to how it conducts itself, even if you're not saved, because not everybody believes in God and not everybody believes in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I know that. I'm not a, I'm not a dummy. Let's say I'm not a stupid, but I'm not a dummy. I know that. I know many people, they just don't have it in their heart or in their mind to to serve um, the greatest gift ever given to, to mankind, and that is the, the gift of Jesus Christ, uh, who came by way of the Father, uh, and just don't have the desire, people just don't have the desire to serve him. So whether you believe in him or not does not make him, I must say, uh, of no effect. This nation is in a terrible state, and the military is in a terrible, terrible state, okay? So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put my visual accumulators on here. So I'm going to read this um, first uh, article, and then, like I said, if I move to uh, uh, do otherwise, I'll, I'll read some of the other. Uh, I'm going to kind of take my time with this um, video because it's very, it's very important because, you know, our nation, y'all, is is at jeopardy and I don't you can say whatever you want to say but our nation is at jeopardy uh, we are in a, a place to where we are gonna uh, we are digging ourselves into a hole that we are not gonna be able to get out of um, without the help of a loving God uh, a patient God and even greater than that without the um, help of a nation that is gonna repent to God for its heathenism, outright unbelief, and treachery when it comes down to um, God. Okay, so with that said, let me go ahead and put my glasses on. Uh, Republican senators slam Navy over inappropriate drag queen digital ambassador. This is by John uh, Lamson, dated May the 4th, 2023. Um, which is um, yesterday, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and read this right here. More than a dozen GOP senators want answers uh, from the United States uh, Navy following revelations that service enlist, enlisted and active duty drag queen uh, to serve as a digital ambassador. The senators accused the Navy of skirting professional standards and noted uh, yeoman second class Joshua Kelly's uh, use of TikTok which has been the subject of ongoing national security concerns and is uh, banned for use on government devices. Quote, while we understand the importance of social media for modern recruiting, we are concerned about 
both the promotion of a uh, of a banned app and behavior that may deem inappropriate in a in, in a professional workplace. The senators uh, wrote in a letter to Navy Security uh, Carlos Del Toro. Kelly, who identifies as non-binary, was named one of five Navy digital ambassadors as part of a, pi a pilot program that lasted between October and March. A spokesperson told Fox News Digital on Monday, uh, the program was, quote, designed to explore the digital environment to uh, reach a wide range of uh, potential candidates, unquote, amid, quote, the most challenging and recruiting environment it has faced since the start of all of uh, our all volunteer service. And I would venture to say, y'all, the reason that you are having the low numbers in this volunteer service, because um, as one of the stories that here is going to um, say as I follow up, from this right here is that those who really love this country, those who really understand this country, and I'm not saying that those drag queens and LGBTQIA plus people don't love the country. I think they love the country to the best of their ability. They love the country to the best of their understanding, but they love the country based on the freedom that they have to be able to do what they want to do when they want to do it, how they want to do it. And it doesn't matter what anybody says about that. So they they love the country too, because they love the freedoms that this country uh, affords them, and that is to live their life any kind of way that they want to. When it comes down to um, those others that are not want, not wanting to serve, they're not wanting to serve in a military that caters to uh, this deviance. Call it what it is, is deviant behavior. Um, these men and women that can't determine if the, if you if you can't know and you are so confused about the gender that you have that you were born in male or female then how can i trust you to fight alongside of me um knowing that you know that you won't have a issue uh later on down the line uh because that's the thing y'all these are confused people get mad at me if you want i don't care because these are confused people god created male and female and there's no in-betweens, there's no non-binary, there's no, you can be a drag queen and you have a drag queen mentality and, and this, that, and the other thing. But the truth is, is that if you are living your life outside of the will of God, as this, uh, this gentleman is, and so many more like him, then you are an unbeliever. And in, you, in, in the military services, this country um, is not going to be backed by a God that is holy and righteous, not going to fight for a nation that has determined that how people sin, um, how people want to sin and how people want to live in their sin. And then they want to take that and, and, and um, lavish that over a whole nation. God is not going to fight y'all for that nation. Okay. And I will back that up with a scripture here in just a few minutes. So let me go ahead and uh, read on where I'm at right now. So um, Kelly's stage name is Harpy Daniels, and they uh, and they told the USS Constitution Museum in August 2022 they began dressing in drag long before joining the Navy. Uh, they should have been allowed to come in in the first place. Kelly has used TikTok and and Instagram to explain uh, their journey in their service, their journey. Now he's speaking for himself and I guess his, his, um, his drag queen double um, as two people. So the bottom line is that the Navy should not be prompting use of TikTok and app banned on department devices, on the personal devices of service members or its ambassadors, the this, this, this Senate wrote, agreeing 100%. Okay, so it goes on down here. It says down here, it is a time when our nation's military is facing a recruiting crisis. It is, a, it is as important as ever to reach broader swaths of the eligible population, but not at the cost of privacy, security, or professionalism, the letter added. Quote, the Navy should follow both the letter and spirit of the law, as well as its own social media policies. It seeks to modernize its recruiting um, campaigns unquote last fiscal year the navy bear the the navy barely ach achieved its thirty three thousand four hundred um, recruitment target uh, for new sailors according to the uh, according to the Na navy times but came up short of its two thousand five hundred seven target for um, 
for active duty uh, officer promotions and missed its goal of 1,360 reserve officers by almost 400 uh, per the report. At the moment, the Navy is seeking to grow its size from 341 thousand seven hundred thirty six to fiscal uh, in fiscal year twenty twenty three to three thirty four three thousand forty three thousand forty seven that three hundred forty seven thousand members in twenty twenty four the navy times uh reported um uh, and this uh this goes on to say down here uh the letter was uh, was signed by senators ted budd uh, a representative of north carolina tom cotton Representative of Arkansas, Steve Baines, Representative of uh, Montana, Eric Schmidt, uh, Representative of Montana, Tommy Tuber Tuberville, Rep Representative of Alabama, uh, Cynthia Lumens, Representative of Wyoming, John Barrasso, Rep Representative of Wyoming, also Ted Cruz, Representative of Texas, uh, Rick Scott, Representative of Florida, Bill Cassidy, Representative of Louisiana, Marco Rubio, Representative of Florida, uh, Mark Wayne Mullen, uh, Representative of Oklahoma, uh, Mike Lee, representative of Utah, and um, Roger uh, Marshall, representative of Canada, the uh, uh, Kansas rather, uh, the senators who asked Ted Toro for information about the states of the of the pilot program, including uh, data on its effectiveness and any compensation provided to ambassadors. They also want to know if the Navy's quote active con uh, encouraging. Con encouraging uh, recruiters to use TikTok on their personal devices in spite of the federal prohibi prohibition. Del Toro has until May the 24th to respond. And I can guarantee you this, that there's going to be a lot of people that are, that are going to come to his defense because they're not going to want the truth to be told. And not even that the truth be told, but if you'll notice something, y'all, that's very telling about that list of, of, of um, men and women that I read, there are no Democrats on there. I, don't ask me why. Uh, I can't tell you why. I think that we're living in a time to where the, um, you know, if you mention this whole thing, how, how, um, how society has so woke, you're going to find beyond a shadow of a doubt that the wokeness of this society, you're going to find it um, uh, much more on the... Um, on the um, on the uh, left side, excuse me, rather than on the right, uh, they tend to have less morality, and I'm not talking about just um, their own morality, but they tend to be less religious, and I'm not going to say spiritual because you have a lot of people that profess to be spiritual, and they are just as reprobate as they come. But uh, oftentimes, uh, for some reason, the liberal agenda, I don't care what color you are, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, whatever, they tend to have this more woke ideology about things. And, they are, and a lot of them are just outright unbelievers. There's a lot of Democrats, uh, especially in the black community, that, that, that are supposed to be um, saved. But I would venture to question that based on their ideologies. You listen to me, y'all. I, I know it's it's hard to swallow, and, um, you know, a lot of times medicine, good medicine is hard to swallow, but you cannot say that you serve the true and living God and at the same time agree with the things that are happening on the left. You cannot say that you love uh, uh, the Christ that died on the cross for our sins and at the same time you are agreeing with the policies and the, and the liberal ways that you find in the democratic and the liberal community. And I know I'll, I'll get lambasted for that, but I'm a big boy. I can handle the lambastation. You know what I'm talking about? Um, if, if that's a word, it sounds good to me. Um, so, if, I mean, if they can make up all kinds of stuff, I can make up a word that um, might not sound good to them. So, you know, so this, is the, this is the other, this is the other article. This is the, this, uh, this is, uh, this is this guy and this is not a woman. This is a guy. This is a drag queen, and in all of his paraphernalia and all of his, um, you know, uh, makeup and stuff like that. And he, uh, these, these, uh, he's confused. He's a confused man that wants to be a woman, um, and he will say, "No, I'm a man. I just like dressing like a woman." Or if you're a man, a real man doesn't dress like a woman. A real man is a man, and he understands what a real man does. And and so you have in our military forces, y'all, many of the um, this a lot of this going on in our military forces, and it's very un, it's very unfortunate. 
because um, somewhere down the line, uh, this nation is going to have to go to war. And already because the numbers are low and already because it's already the truth has uh, already been told that, you know, the United States of America was supposed to be a sovereign nation that can fight two major battles at one time. And you can uh, but, but, but based on the numbers that we are and based on the quality of our military forces, I doubt very seriously if we could fight two major conflicts um, uh, on our uh, on our own uh, on our soil and um, abroad because we just don't have the people uh, to do it. And those ones that are in the in the military force that really love their country, I believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that they love this country and they're willing to fight for this country. But they also have a limit, and I'm going to get to that story here in just a minute as a part of my trilogy when it comes down to uh, Joshua Kelly and uh, his uh, drag queen ways, okay? So let me go on because I have some more reading to do and I have to, I don't want to uh, forego the time too much. So United States Navy's drag queen ambassador Joshua Kelly accuses critics of not truly supporting the military. And this is based, this is dated. Uh, this is by, written by Olivia Land on May the 4th, yesterday also, 2023, Okay. So let's just read some of this right here. Uh, the active duty non-binary drag queen who served as a digital ambassador for the Navy hit back at critics Wednesday, uh, accusing them of only supporting the military when it, quote, benefits, unquote, them, while uh, defiantly declaring, you don't scare me. Uh, Yeoman second class Joshua Kelly, whose drag name is uh, Harpy Daniels, responded to the widespread fury about their appointment uh, led by Army uh, veteran Graham Allen and decorated Navy SEAL uh, veteran Robert J. O'Neill on social media. In a video uh, po uh, posted to, to TikTok and Instagram, Kelly can be seen uh, alternating between their military uniform and drag looks while declaring that they uh, DGAF about backlash. Uh, I, you know, the, the DGAF, I, you can, you know, but see, this is, this is another thing. This is how nasty, this is how awfully nasty these people's minds are and their mouths. Cause you know what DGAF stands for? It, it, it's, it, it's, it's, you know, it, it's, it's right there in front of you. It's not, we're not stupid. Uh, so we know what this means, but this is how they are. This is how nasty they are. They have, they're, they're, they're very, they have very, um, per, uh, uh, promiscuous uh, ways. They're very um, downtrodden um, in their spirit. To, to, and so they blame everybody for attacking them, but yet they don't have a problem with getting nasty the way they do. He's, he's saying he's telling these other, uh, these other soldiers, oh, I'm not afraid of you. Well, I don't think they want you to be a, they don't want you um, uh, to be afraid of them. What they want you to do uh Mr. Kelly is go find somewhere else to hang out and let them fight the battles. Let them be the real warriors, the real warriors that are that are going to fight for this country, that have a true heart for this country. Okay, let me go on. So alongside the clip Kelly wrote, um, you only want to support the military when it benefits you and it doesn't involve queer people. Yet the military is the largest diverse and adaptable organization in in the in the use uh well as a service member a queen and an open queer person uh, you don't uh, you don't scare me and you won't stop the lgbtq plus community for thriving no i can guarantee you this um mr kelly they might not stop you but god will and and it's unfortunate because the innocent are going to have to suffer at the hands of uh, of and with the wicked. So Kelly, who identifies as non-binary, served as one of the five digital ambassadors for the Navy from October through March this year. The program was part of a recent push to draw a more diverse, capable workforce amid sinking recruitment. The Navy in, uh, confirmed in a statement this week that uh, neither Kelly nor the uh, four other ambassadors were Paid uh, from joining uh, to from joining to 2016 and being able to share my drag experience on my off time with my fellow sailors has been a blessing. It's not a blessing. Not a, it might be a blessing to you, but it's not a blessing from God because God doesn't bless openly rebellious sin and perversion. It's not a blessing. 
Listen to me, y'all. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. This man is sowing seeds of lies, deceit. He'll say it's a blessing. Want you to believe. And if, he, if, and if he's not meaning that it's a blessing from God, then I don't know. Because true blessings only come from God. The word of God says that every good gift and every perfect gift cometh down from the Father of lights, in whom there's neither variableness nor shadow of turning. And you can find that in uh, James, the first chapter of uh, verse number 17. So I don't know where he considers his blessing coming from, but it's definitely and most assuredly not coming from God. So it goes on to say Kelly wrote in, in November Instagram post announcing their participation in the program. And this is uh, him uh, once again. Um, you know, uh, he's confused. I would not want to, and I don't have to because I did my time and I'm too old to fight in the military, but I would hate to be on the battlefield with this man because if he's confused enough to do what he's doing now, who's to say what he might do when the true battle comes? You can say that's not right for me to say that, but it's absolutely right because if you are not sure whether or not you are a man or a woman, then what might you not be sure about when you get on the field? Maybe, you're, maybe you might not be sure about shooting the enemy. Maybe you might get a, as a man, you might get a, a, what you consider to be a woman's heart and you just can't stand to shed the blood of somebody else because that woman part of you comes out. Listen to me. It, it's, it, it, look, it, it's true and it's real. It could happen. So this experience has brought me so much strength, courage, and, and ambition to continue being an advocate and represent representation of queer sailors. See, not, not about fighting the country, not fight about fighting for the country. Not about doing what's right for the country and making the country look good and letting people fear, you know, uh, this country because of the godliness of the members of the military force. But he's more there to uh, make a stance and make a stance and show for the uh, LGBTQIA plus community than he is for his country. But the Navy's diversity push and appointment of Kelly as an ambassador drew fierce backlash when it surfaced this week, uh, just weeks uh, after Bud Light um, caused controversy when it partnered with uh, trans influencer uh, Dylan Mulvaney. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there with the story because you get the gist of this story. He's this man right here, this man right here that I'm showing you right here. He's trying to make excuses or not make, not make excuses. He's he's trying to make it seem like he's, you know, he's all that in a bag of chips because he's queer and he's trans and he's proud of it. You know, and that, yeah, you know, that's, that's all well and good. That's him again. You know, he's queer and he's trans and he's proud of it. Now that's good for him. And he's still, you see him in a sailor suit and then you see him, um, dress in his, uh, in, in his, uh, his uh, drag queen um, um, attire, and so let's just go down here real quick, because man, I uh, you know I, I want to I got to get this in because well there's about 23 minutes, so, you know I got to get this in because this is some good stuff, and I you know I don't do a lot, so I, I figure I might as well go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and take the time to to do this. Let me read this right here. This is a Navy SEAL who helped kill Bin Laden, fuming over drag queen ambassador. I can't believe I fought for this bull S and I don't believe, I don't blame him at all. You fight for the country and to, just to allow this kind of perversion and heathenism to come and fight in the military, the same military service that you fought for. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So let's go ahead and read this right here. It says here, a, a decorated Navy SEAL veteran who was a part of the mission that killed ben, Osama bin Laden has spoken out against the Navy's new drag queen recruitment campaign saying, I can't believe I fought for this, this bull S. Former U.S. Navy SEAL uh, team uh, six member Robert J. O'Neill took a tweet took, took to Twitter um, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday morning to share his disappointment of the Navy's hiring of an active duty drag queen to help recruit the most talented and diverse workforce for the military branch. All, all right. The U.S. Navy is now using an enlisted Seder drag queen as a recruiter. I'm done. China is going to destroy us. You got this. You got this Navy. I can't believe I fought for this. This BS. O'Neill wrote uh, to his 59, 5,950 Five thousand five thousand nine hundred. Excuse me now, five hundred ninety thousand 
500 followers. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to move too fast. It goes on to say O'Neill's comments were targeted at Yeoman's second class Joshua Kelly, the first of five new, quote, digital ambassadors, unquote, for a new program the Navy pilot uh, piloted from October to March. Kelly, who identifies as non binary and goes by the stage name Harpy Daniels, has um, shared their uh, journey of being a non binary drag queen with the Navy through the Instagram and TikTok accounts. Uh, thank you uh, to the Navy for giving me this opportunity. I don't speak for the Navy, but simply sharing my experience in the Navy. Uh, yeah, uh, you ha and let's go slay, uh, Daniel said in November post. Uh, Kelly was an ambassador of a program designed to explore the digital environment to uh, reach a wide range of, uh, of, of potential uh, candidates as, an, as the Navy battles the most challenging recruiting um, environment of its face, of its face, it has faced since the start of the all voluntary force. A Navy spokesman told Fox News, O'Neill, who was uh, self credited with did not de delivering the fatal blow to the Bin Laden uh, during to Bin Laden during the May second, twenty eleven raid in um, Abbott Abbottabad, Abbottabad, Pakistan, has. Uh, published two books since leaving the military in 2014. O'Neill's comments uh, met with a mixture of re reactions, um, some siding with the Silver Star uh, recipient, while others labeled him a hypocrite. Well, you know, not everyone's going to agree with you, but I agree with him 100%. This kind of stuff does not need to be in our military. This is, this is beyond disturbing. I'm a former military officer, and I just can't believe what our brass is doing. One former military officer said, uh, not this Navy veteran. I'm ashamed of the Navy, wrote another uh, veteran. It's an insult to every veteran. The Army kept making me go to trans EO type classes before I retired. Nope, didn't go. As a Navy veteran, I am, I am ashamed on behalf of the United States Navy. I hope that, hope that goes over as well as Bud Light did. A reference to the a reference to the um, the beer company's ad controversy over partnering with influencer Dylan Mulvaney. Uh, some uh, commentators did uh, push back on O'Neill's comments, saying it's good for the Navy. And finally, finally uh, honor, courage, and commitment. I stand with the United States Navy and their uh, choice. Bravo Zulu, another commenter, wrote, uh, we have an epidemic of gun violence in this country, thousands of innocent victims, yet uh, these uh, these brothers, you, uh, this bothers you? Grow up, Rebu uh, rebuked another user. And finally, local man, angry, uh, he fought for the freedom of expression. A third commented, re you know, hey, everybody's, everybody's allowed to have their opinions about about this whole thing and and that's the beauty of this nation um you can have your opinion for sure but the the thing the, what the one thing remains is that you are each and every one of us is going to give an account to god for our unrepentant sin excuse me for just a minute i need to get this off the printer um uh, just wrote it just printed up a little something that i could i want to read uh to y'all because um this nation is in is in is in terrible terrible trouble with the with with the real commander, so we have the we have the president of the United States, and we have as the Joint Chiefs of Staff, um, as the as the chief as the you know as the head honcho, um, you have the Pentagon and all those that are making these decisions up there, and we are talking, y'all. Um, we know that one of our former presidents had already made the comment that the United States of America is not a um, is not a is not a Christian nation. Um, um, not all, you know, I, I, you know it's not in, I, I want to, because they're saying that, you know, in the repeating of that particular, um, comment that he made, he, they, in the, the reporting, it was left out that he said, not just the Christian nation. So I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him that, that he might've said that the United States of America is not just a Christian nation. Uh, but the United States of America was founded as a Christian nation, whether they're not just or not. Because you have a lot of people in the United States of America that are not Christians. They don't believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I happen to believe strongly in Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I happen to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that every one of us is going to give an account to God, whether you believe it or not. 
And I think the horror of hell, the horror of hell, y'all, is going to be that when you wake up there, and after you have done all that you've done and you've tried to say like this man tries to say that this thing, his whole drag queen, this is a blessing. You know, it's been a blessing to him when he wakes up and unless he gets saved, because let me go ahead and say at this point right now, there's an opportunity for him to be saved. The word of God says in 1 John 1 and 9 that if you confess your sins, that God is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness, which means that you can be restored to the righteousness of God. If you repent of your sins, and then it goes on to say in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 9 and 10, that if you profess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and rose from the dead on the third day, the word of God says you shall be saved because you make the profession with your mouth, but you believe with your heart unto righteousness. That's how you're saved. We were in a country, y'all, where the um, where the heathenism has risen to a level of open rebellion against God that I can literally say that there's going to be, that's why, you know, uh, the scripture says that hell enlarges itself daily. It, you know, hell is, there's, there's uh, hell will enlarge itself. Topof will make, enlarge itself to make room for as many sinners as will come. Because the God that we serve, he created hell for Satan and the fallen angels, not for his creation, not for his, not for his uh, humanity. Uh, Satan and the fallen angels that were in heaven with God, they cannot be saved. They're doomed. They're doomed to the point to where they, they have basically um, uh, uh, punched their ticket to hell and they're going to. And they're going to suffer in hell. And Satan's not going to be in charge of hell. He's not going to be down there living it up. He's going to be in total torment, as will the fallen, uh, the demonic forces once they're cast out of this, um, out of this, uh, this realm that we're living in. Uh, they're 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 going to they're going to they're going to suffer a terrible, horrifying, terrible, horrifying um, eternity, as will those who who have determined that they're going to openly rebel against God. I would hope that this. Um, um, this uh, uh, Joshua Kelly would receive Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior before he dies. And he might say, well, he does believe in Jesus Christ and he's a Christian. And so I would ask him, as I will ask every time, is there going to be an LGBTQIA plus community in heaven? Are there going to be drag queens in heaven? Are there going to be homosexuals and lesbians and pedophiles and, and thieves and robbers and, and liars and 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 murders are they are there because if, if the if the lgbtqia plus community is going to be in heaven then so is the rest of them so this is the question based on the holy god that i serve and based on what the holy scripture has said is there going to be an lgbtqia plus community in heaven are there going to be drag queens in heaven and if they're going to be drag queens in heaven then you could bet your bottom dollar i don't want to go there but you know what i know beyond a shadow of a doubt that there will not be no flesh will glory glory in God's kingdom. And he says that in his scripture. So let me read this. Um, you know, in Second Chronicles 29 and 30, there was a there was an instance where Jehoshaphat, um, as as a as a as a, a good king, had to fight against um, his enemies. And I'm just gonna read a couple of short scriptures. This is Second Chronicles 29 and 30. And it said, And the fear of God was on all the kingdoms of those countries. And when they had heard that the Lord fought against the enemies of Israel. Okay. And verse number 30 says, so the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet for his God gave him rest round about. So Jehoshaphat, because he stood for God and for God's righteousness, um, God made sure that the, the, the surrounding enemies uh, could not fight against Israel. Uh, God stands for his people when God's people stand for him. But we're living in a, in, a, in, a, in a country now where the president of the United States does not stand for God. His cabinet, his administration, the Pentagon, lots of people that don't even have anything to do with politics don't stand for God. We're living in a godless nation that is supposed to be a Christian nation, but it has become very godless because people want to do what they want to do. And these devils would have you believe and as I say that, I look in at these two pictures that you see in front of you, and you look into the eyes of these. this man. This man is a devil. He's got devils in him. He can be saved, but the devil that's in him is going to be cast into the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. And if that devil happens to ride it out in this man, if this man does not repent 
and ask the Lord to forgive him of his sin and be delivered from his sins because God is loving like that. God loves this man, but he hates his sin. God loves this man, but he hates his perversion. God loves me, but he hates my sin. He loves you, but he hates your sin. Listen to me. This nation is doomed, y'all. This nation is doomed because this nation has determined that it's going to do whatever it wants to do, every, whatever it wants to do, how it wants to do it, when it wants to do it, and nobody's going to be able to say anything different than what these people want to do. So, my final scripture and some and the reading of the understanding, which is going to, I'm going to read from the Matthew Henry commentary, my my professor, my favorite uh, commentary that I like to read from. This is uh, Psalms nine and seventeen. Psalm, the book of Psalm nine and seventeen. The verse says, and this is the King James version: "The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God." Listen to this: in the uh, in in the other world, the wicked shall be turned into hell. As captives into the prison house, even all the nations that forget God. Note this, forgetfulness of God is the cause of all the wickedness of the wicked. There are nations of those, nations of those now, um, that forget God. Multitudes that live without God in the world. Many great and many mighty nations that never regard him nor desire the knowledge of his ways. Hell will at last be the portion of such, a state of everlasting misery and, term, and torment, shield, a pit of destruction, in which they and all their comforts will be forever lost and buried. Though there be nations of them, yet they, yet they shall be turned into hell, like sheep into the slaughterhouse. And you can find that in Psalms 49 and 14. And their beings, and their being so numerous, will not be any security or ease to them, nor any loss to God, or the least impeachment of His goodness. Listen to me. It doesn't matter how many people, how many of these men and women, the LGBTQIA plus community. It doesn't matter how many of them there are. That's not going to stop the righteousness of God. It does not matter how many of them uh, rally together to fight against what they consider to be um, us um, Christians that don't understand and hate them and, and they think as though they're being mistreated. It doesn't matter how many of them stand before our children and try to turn our children into blasphemies, uh, abominations. It doesn't matter how many of them stand lock, um, step, uh, go arm in arm. It doesn't matter what. Uh, what color of their skin? It doesn't matter their 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 um, uh, class makeup, their educational status, and their their financial status. It doesn't matter how many of the LGBTQIA plus community come together. That's, there there is no security in those numbers. There's not going to be any security, y'all, in those numbers. It's a shame. It's a terrible thing that so many people are going to die and go to hell if they don't repent. And, I, and believe me, they're going to die and go to hell if they don't repent. The same way the liar, the word of God says in his scriptures, that all, all liars will find themselves in a place that burneth with fire and brimstone. If you're a liar and you are unrepentant, if you are a drunk, a rapist, a murderer, if you are a racist, if you are unrepentant, if you are anything, any part of the letter of the LGBTQIA plus community, and you are unrepentant. You have not asked the Lord to forgive you of your sin and turned from your wickedness. Hell, shield, the pit is going to be your place of residence for residence for an eternity without end. And I don't care how mad you get at me about that. I don't care how bad you think you are, Josh. Well, uh, Kelly, where you talk back to your own soldiers and tell them that you're not afraid of them, you don't need to be afraid of them. You need to be afraid of God because he's the one that you're going to give an account to. This loving God that sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sins. He's going to be the one that, that, that you're going to stand before. He's going to be the one that you, that's going to mete out your judgment. And for this nation, this nation is doomed because as long as this nation turns its back on God, the wicked shall be turned into hell in all nations that forget God. I'll tell you something, y'all. Get ready for it. It's coming. 
And there's nothing that's going to stop it. I'm not just blowing smoke and I'm not trying to scare you. The word of God speaks for itself. But yes, I know many of you don't believe in God and you don't want to serve a God that will treat, that will be so mean because you, because you are more loving and kind and, and you know you're so woke and you know what's better for people than that so-called God is that you can't see and you hate the Christians because they're, because we're so, you know, we're so holy rollers and, and God is just a crutch to us. All the nasty things that you can say about God and his people. The word of God says, uh, 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 you know, don't mess with his people. Don't mess with his people. You know, uh, make sure that you don't attack his people. Uh, make sure that you, in all of your wickedness and your anger and your rage, make sure that, that you don't um, uh, touch God's anointed nor do his prophet any harm. Uh, make sure that you understand that whether you believe it or not, whether I believe it or not, it doesn't. It's not my belief that makes God real. It's not your unbelief that makes God uh, not real. It's God is, and He is, and He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. But this man and so many like him, it's just a terrible state, y'all, that this country's in. This nation is doomed because God is no longer going to fight for a nation that has turned his back. Jehoshaphat, he loved God and he made his he made Israel to serve God. And when I say made, he talked to them. He 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 they understand they understood the law at that time. They understood what the law, the importance of the law. They understood what what it was to 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 serve God because of his righteousness and so because they because they did that and because he as the king did that he led his nation into that and because of that the nations around him and the countries around him uh, around Israel feared Israel they feared him not because Israel was so great but they feared the god that Israel served this country no longer serves the god that loves us and because this country doesn't I don't care. I don't know about anybody else, but if I die in the in 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 the um, process of this country being destroyed by other nations because God is not going to fight for this nation, I know where I'm going. If I die either on the battlefield or out of a, a stray bomb or a stray bullet or an unfortunate circumstance, no matter what happens, if I die, I'm going to heaven to be with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would hope that Joshua Kelly. Uh, would determine that he wants to do uh, go to the same place, but apparently he doesn't. He doesn't believe. He's an unbeliever, and because he doesn't believe, and because he is an unbeliever, hell will be his home for an eternity. But he still has time and a chance to be saved. Okay, look, y'all, I'm done. I got all three of those stories in. I know um, I'm, I'm I'm long, but I had to because this is a this is a very terrible state that our country's in. I would hope that the true Christians, the remnant Christians, would pray for this nation and that you would not stand up for the unrighteousness of this thing. And I want to ask again in my closing, for those of you that believe that this man is fine with what he's doing, uh, um, you know, for those of you that believe that you're fine what you're doing and that you have a relationship with God through Christ Jesus and you can continue living your life as a as a lgbtqia community um, um person then answer me the question if you will please is there going to be an lgbtqia plus community in heaven and that's it i'm done until we come back together again y'all in my next video um, god bless you take care of yourself um, I'm, we're praying for the military force that they will root out this, and that there'll um, be enough complaining, enough enough uh, fervor done where they will root up, they'll change their way, their wicked ways. Uh, the military, the the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the commander in chief, as the leader of the military, his staff, that they will change their ways because if they do not, y'all, once again, this nation truly is doomed. All right, until we come back together again, once again, farewell, y'all.